these are like really small pockets with one or two things really in them. The last one actually hard, had hardly anything in it, but it was a big pocket. But we broke into two of the pockets before we ever even shot, too, so we just chiseled in by hand. The last one we had, this is basically all we got out of it. Um, some nice quartz crystals with some tourmaline clusters on them. Um, need a lot of cleaning, but they'll all stick back together. Nice little baggie of tourmaline. Uh, you get some light behind it, you can really see through them. Some blue green kind of colors. It's one of the ones that we found last time. It looks like black tourmaline, so I got them under light. This one's pretty nice, actually. Nice termination on it. It's a green with a bit of a blue cap on it. But yeah, it's kind of matrix piece. And yeah, pretty clean, but it was literally just in a little crack all by itself. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. There's a pocket like this big right below it, yeah. nothing in it. And then right on top, there's this little crack in the little pocket. There's one big tourmaline, and then this one hiding in the crack down below. Such a trip. It's just teasing us left and right in there. Wait, that's, that's odd. So the pocket below developed nothing, but a crack on top did? Yeah. Uh, this is all we got out of the, crack, the one below. It's broken, like the pocket looked like it exploded like inside of itself. That's so weird. this was basically, these were all kind of parts of one big tourmaline. Beautiful Clevelandite on them. They actually have some green, like purple color in them, but they're just real dark and real thick. Um, but there's one of them that actually came out really nice. I can't. Uh, I think this is the tourmaline, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, so this one, it's funny, it's totally natural, uh, but it's kind of half a tourmaline. But it actually, if you light it from behind, it uh, you can see through the cap pretty good. But it's a kind of blue-green color. I found a, a watermelon one. It was like green at the end, then it turned red, then yellow in the middle. Probably not bright enough. Yeah. Yeah, you can, actually, if you go sideways, you can kind of see on the corner there. You can just see into it, but yeah, super dark. But you know, clean, solid crystal. But that it was just literally this thing, and right below was that nice gemmy one, and that was about it. Were those found in the pile or? The no, these were underground the last couple days. These are freshies. Um, the other one we chiseled into, we got this bag of morganites. Uh, a couple actually nice chunks of crystals and some facet and cadmium rough in there. Is it free to put this on? Um, no, this is just totally, didn't soak them out at all. And yeah, it's kind yeah. of funny because you can see uh, all the different variety of color in it, you know, just yeah. in one pocket. Yeah, some of that you could, I can see easily just being called quartz. And, yeah, exactly. You know. um, that was a funny one. It's actually a cluster of feldspar, um, which we don't really get, but you can see those are all feldspar crystals. A little yeah. bit of Clevelandite in between. Um, but yeah, you don't really get clusters of the uh, spar like that. They're usually individual crystals. That one's kind of neat. But you can see it's just a real fracture, but nice terminated tourmaline on the side of the quartz. But uh, there's one that's actually pretty cool. This guy here. Any reason off of them? Well, I was going to say this one here. Double wrapped. And I've forgotten what I wrapped in the packages. I always know it's good when I have like three layers to it. So it's a little funky, but it actually has a nice jemmy tourmaline on the side in the Clevelandite. Awesome. Yeah, beautiful clean faces on it, um, natural base to it. Um, and then right here, you can see that crystal imprint. And this quartz crystal just matches up perfectly right there. Um, yeah, so it's a bit of a tease. You can see it's not that pink, you know, morganite. It's definitely more aqua or goshenite. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a little funky, but I mean, we're, it's just teasing all around, you know? It's like a bunch of tiny little pockets, um, but they have all the minerals you can want in them, you know? You got all your beryllium, your tourmaline. Uh, it's just about finding the clean one. Yeah, beautiful termination on it, too. Did you see the works the girl out here got with the tourmaline? I didn't. Oh. It's like what you have there, those bigger junk. It's got uh, a little bit of light and tourmaline and all these things in it, like crystals. It's a big chunk of quartz. Yeah, anytime you get crystals and crystals, it's always a good day. Oh, you, well, you <laughs> can't have this from the girl's a baby. 
Okay. And that one's terminated there. But, I mean, you Once know. Once clean up, it looks so good. Yeah, this one will clean up, but just a bunch of nice little teases around there. We got all the minerals we could ask for, you know, you got all your beryllium, your lithium, your manganese. We just need one of these pockets to kind of have more clay in it. That's been the issue is um, when there's clay in these, the good stuff is found in the clay at the bottom of the pocket. Yeah, exactly. But literally the last two had barely any clay and then literally no clay. Um, but in the same shot, we drilled a pocket on the top left and another one in the um, center left. Um, but we, we just couldn't, they're like four feet in, so we didn't chisel in. But uh, we'll stem it up and hopefully that when we do the shot on Tuesday, It'll break it all out, and the pockets will be hanging on the wall. <laughs> cool. Ideally, <laughs> the, uh, for the crystals to be well preserved like that, you have to get them forming in the clean water, and then protected by clay before the water dries out, right? Exactly. Yeah. Um, what we found in this last one, especially it when it fractured like crazy, um, there's a, there was actually a crack in the back of the thing. So we think it just had a ton of pressure on it, and then when that crack formed, it just went pop and just kind of shattered everything a little bit. But when the clay's there. It absorbs that and kind of, you know, protects everything yeah. and forms it better. Um, I'm curious if the one you said there was no growth and the growth on the top. I wonder if the bottom was full of clay the entire time and crystals never had a chance to form there. So it wasn't full of clay when you opened it. No. And I mean, I'm talking like I chiseled into the very bottom, like hard rock wall, and just the very bottom of the pocket opened up this whole thing about this big around, not a drop of clay in it. I mean, there's clay around it and seams, but it's like all the clay got sucked out of it, or I don't know. How does that happen? Because it had to have been flooded to form crystals on the top. Yeah, and yeah. You'd expect the big precipitates would build big on the bottom Big crystals first. on the top, but they're all fractured. Like, like I literally, you poke it, and they just rain down at you. Um, oh, they just mines, fall like apart. Before. Yeah. Yeah. Or like like that aqua Something one. Like powdery. And you're gonna like yeah. Just like grind them up. In well, your the, the aqua one that I literally like busted, cracked into the pocket by hand with a hammer and chisel. Yeah. And I get that thing out, and you know the tip, the termination on it isn't perfect. It's not flawless. There's a couple of little chips on it, but it's like I didn't do it. You know, <laughs> like it, like you do everything right, you know, and you get in there and there's still little chips on it. It's just how it goes sometimes, but. Right around there, and actually the spot that really interests me, um, the vein runs uphill like this. We're working this side of it. Yeah. And I feel like this pocket zone goes this way. Because we're out of it up here. Oh, so it, it crosses. Yeah, the... so we're working it here kind of, but I feel like on this side is where we got our pocket of super gemmy tourmaline. Yeah. Tiny pieces though. Like little things like that, but amazing color. And not even this kind of, like like literally Himalaya, like uh, green really? and pink. That's like awesome. flawless little gems. Um, and it was just, the whole pocket was about this big. And it was stuffed full of it. Um, and I was like, I'm still, I, so no, I'm still, but I'm like, <laughs> we need to push that way. And that was up on this side, a little higher and a little left. So we're actually gonna rock, work the next dope over and push up through that zone and see what we get. Because the whole vein is doing this, which is nice and steep. And right where we're working, it decides to just go. And so we're trying to drill in a, deep stove, and then it's literally the pastry that's over our head, so it's almost going vertical. Are you gonna cross cut it above, or are you gonna try to cut straight up and just- We're gonna, I think, go to the next stove and uh, kind of work it up until it hits steep and then cross cut it. Mm -hmm. um, only thing we really can do. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's insane, because you can't take the dirt out because you need it to stand on to drill the next round. Do you guys do any like like timbering inside the mine to have like structures to stand on? Not, we, we have done that. The 49er, um, yeah. it was a pretty steep one. And it's actually, if you go in there now, it's funny, you can see it's literally wedged, like stepped. Yeah. Exactly. So we had, actually had to build like a scaffolding. Yeah, yeah. It was a huge one. It's literally like the length like, of this whole container alley here and width. Seriously? Yeah. So you like broke into it, you could walk into this thing? Not open, it is all full of mud and everything. But like, yeah, yeah. But yeah, like you can literally, like it's, when it's, it's full of mud, you guys dig out the mud or you just get a pump going and like... We dig it out, use our buckets. Try to do everything by hand as gently as we can. Got it.